So, hello and welcome back to the channel. Hello. <laughs> right, so obviously if you followed us last week, you'll know we're in the Isle of Wight. Now today, you can probably hear the water in the background. Somewhere proper special, isn't we, Claire? Yeah, we are at Shanklin Chine, which Shanklin is a Chine. lovely place, isn't it? It is, and it's lovely to walk through the Chine. And we wanted to get here at the start of our holiday, because when you pay, the ticket lasts all week. Mm -hmm. um, and it's lovely in the evening as well. So we're going to go in the daytime now, show you a bit of footage, but later on in the week we'll show you it when it's all lit up. Yeah, and it's just magical at night, isn't it? It's all like, all, yeah. the, all the waterfalls are lit up in different yeah. colours. It's really, really nice. So yeah, we'll show you that when yeah. we come back again. Anyway, we've got to go because we've only got an hour and 10 minutes left on the car park. <laughs> so come with us into the shrine. You see the entrance there, one thing people don't always do is people don't always look right as soon as they come in. You can see the river outside turns into this huge waterfall. Nice little troll bridge down there. Not sure what lives under there. Not sure if there's a troll or not. We'll let you know if anything jumps out on us. Claire, uh -oh. have you seen any trolls under that bridge yet? There's one coming towards me. Oi! <laughs> what are you doing? There's not a lot of statues that I actually generally like, but I think that's really cute. The two foxes together. Go on, Nils. Go find Mum. We're on our way up to the Pluto path and viewpoint. Let's see if we can see the sea. We followed the path. We found the viewpoint. Let us know what you think to Shanklin. Now I would expect to find massive rhubarb down there. <laughs> Look at the size of those leaves. That's phenomenal. Let me know in the comments if that's just an overgrown dock leaf or if it's rhubarb. So we are at the end of September and look at that. That hydrangea is still going strong. How crazy is that? Which one of us has got the sensible footwear on? Comment down below. I know which is the most stylish. Okay, so now we've found somewhere to sit down, we're gonna give you a few facts about the place. Claire, what's the first one? So, Shanklin Tyne was first opened to the public in 1817. Imagine that, a tourist attraction for that long. It was part of the manor of Shanklin and the lordship goes back to doomsday times. And it's been in the hands of the Popham family since 1705. Anyway, it's a cracking place. It's cost us 15 quid for both of us, but we can come back as many times as we want. Hello, so we left you a couple of days ago at Shanklin uh, where we showed you it in the daylight. Now it's almost twilight. We're going to go and get a meal and then we're going to go and show you Shanklin Chine in darkness and that's when it really excels. But first, I want you to come with me to the pan display machine because I'm going to have a little bit of a rant. You might notice that it's dark at the pan display machine. That's because I couldn't get anywhere near it after I filmed the last segment. So I had to refilm this later on in the evening. Excuse the continuity lapse. 
So this is where I want to have a rant. So it says about uh, motorhomes, which obviously you can park here. However, I think this is the country's just getting jealous of people that got motorhomes because you shall not use a vehicle whilst in the parking space for sleeping accommodation. Okay, I get that to an extent. Camping, cooking, or sanitary purposes, whether by day or by night. Um, I don't understand. So you're not allowed to use your own toilet and you can't even make yourself a cup of coffee. That's just jealousy. And uh, yeah, I don't think he's right personally. So we're in the pub and we are in the Crab, which is in Shanklin Old Town. Claire's just deciding what she wants, I'm deciding what I want. We've had our drinks, I've got a lager and black and Claire's got just a black. Do you know what you want to eat? I think I'm going to go for the pie. I'd like a bit of pie and mash. She's going to go for pie and mash. Mushroom and ale pie and mash. And I'm going to go, quite predictably, for a chicken burger. Yes, I didn't have a burger this time. No, Claire didn't go predictable. I just um, I fancied mash and veg, so I'll for a pie. Yeah. Anyway, we'll let you know what it looks like when it gets here and what it tastes like, all importantly. Okay, so dinner has arrived. I will show it to you. Um, took about an hour to get here. The sides arrived before the mains, which I've never had that in my whole life. So that's a first in 34 years. And temperature-wise, it's tepid. I'll be honest, I'm not going to complain today because we need to get into the chime. But here is the dinner. So we're out of the pub. It's called the Crab in Shanklin. Um, I probably wouldn't go back. The chips were cold, Claire had crust on a, a potato um, and it took about an hour for the food to come. So yeah, a little bit disappointing because it's right on the corner where we I, wanted I, to I, go. I did enjoy the food, I did enjoy it. The pie was lovely, couldn't fault it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just the fact that there was a crust on the potato and that might just be a personal choice. Some people might like yeah. it. I didn't. <laughs> Cheesy garlic bread was all right, but I had cold chips and we didn't have time to complain. Anyway, we're on our way down to the chine now. So follow us. You see there, you've got all the pubs lit up. All the way down here, this is where we're heading. Oh, it's lovely, this little place. Really nice place. So yeah, you'll love it when you see it lit up. Oh, it's a bit cold. It's all right. Go on, Lily. And there we go. You can see where we came in the other day. You can see the big waterfall behind us is now lit up, as is the rest of the time. Let's go down and watch it from the bottom. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry. Hello! 
So, hopefully you enjoyed that video. You really do get two types of Shanklin, don't you? Yes, you get two different experiences, whether it be daytime or nighttime, but I think it's a lovely little place, I do. Yeah. I think so too, and we wanted to show you both. Now, the one thing I like to say is in the evening, it reminds me of what in my mind would be the Enchanted Wood. So I don't know if anyone's seen like the Faraway Tree Chronicles <laughs> for Mina Blyton, yeah. but it's very much yeah, like you would it's picture quite magical, that. Isn't it? Um, but anyway, we've got loads more adventures on the Isle of Wight, so keep tuned to the channel, stay watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. See you soon.